Hey everyone, welcome to yet another episode of Coffee Time with Mr. Ying, with your host Mr. Ying. And today we're going to be introducing a new domain to the chatbot using the exact same pipeline as we talked about before. So with that being said, let's jump right in. Oh, by the way, it's coffee time. It's also a Saturday afternoon. So grab your coffee, grab your beer, take a sip. Before I get started, I just want to say thank you for my friend Adam who liked this amazing LinkedIn post. He doesn't really have to do too much about it. Just like the link and I'll be able to see the feed pop up on my LinkedIn profile. And here we go. This new article that we're talking about in this episode is called Adopting AI Responsibly. Guidelines for Procurement of AI Solutions by the Private Sector. So. Right off the bat, we're talking about a new insight report coming up in June by World Economic Forum. I thought that's a great opportunity to take this PDF, scrape it, and incorporate it in my chatbot. We're going to introduce a new domain, the same way that we introduced the McKinsey Gen AI report last episode, and we're going to walk through the tech stack to show you guys what that process looked like. Oh, also, I want to give credits to Mr. Omar Tin who is a partner at Goodwin. He is the first one who shared this article and that's why we're able to see this. Me personally, I read it. I thought it's a great article talking about what is going on out there and what are some of the interesting things that deserve attention when people want to adopt AI responsibly. So I click on the link. I go in there. It's a PDF document with 33 pages. And it talks about a lot of interesting stuff. Me personally, I particularly like figure one. Figure one is on page six. I have to go in there, read the first five pages, and when I get to the six pages, I saw the table. It lay out a couple of core AI techniques. That's the bottom of the diagram. And then it goes up to support the AI applications. Specifically, we're talking about augmented research, marketing, medicine, autonomous vehicle, drones, biometrics, facial recognition, so on and so forth. And now on the right hand side, we have intelligent agents, predictive systems, recommendation system, robotics. These are great things to talk about, especially in the private sector. Uh, whether if you are a consumer surplus company, B2B, B2C, whether if you are a logistic company, a lot of these building blocks can perhaps be swapped by an AI agent. And this report lay out some of the fundamentals of what that process looked like which I thought is extremely important. Me personally, I benefited a lot, and now I want my chatbot to also benefit from that domain. So that is the motivation for me to do this episode. That's the motivation for me to incorporate that domain in the chatbot. Now let's take a look at the code stack. So once again, we're coming back to this extract DF text function. Now the function is very straightforward. I have my PDF document, download from a public URL, and boom, that's my PDF. I can load up here in the kernel. And this function takes the PDF as input, and it gets in there, and it scrapes the text. Now, of course, a small caveat here, and that perhaps is a small flaw uh, for this pipeline. If the PDF that you looked at has graph, charts, things that are not in text format, but also could be important for the content of the PDF, that's, of course, a drawback, right? Because this function doesn't really scrape pictures if there's a picture in a PDF. But hey, that's okay. You know, this is just a concept. We're just getting things started. Uh, for the future, we're going to take care of pictures. But for now, we're just going to scrape the text, meaning the paragraphs, the titles, the footnotes, and that sort of thing. So once we scrape it, we're going to make two API calls. And this is exactly the same pipeline that we talked about before. The first API call is to get the question. Specifically, we are taking a chunk of paragraphs and we're sending that to OpenAI package. We're making that API call. We say, hey, look, this is a paragraph. Write the question for me. And that's specifically what this line of code is doing in that particular prompt. That's how we engineer the design. So that's the first API call that gets you the question. Now we also need a ground truth, right? Because otherwise, uh, how on earth do we know that this chatbot is giving us the answer from that certain location in the PDF document? So we need a second API call 
nice why we need this function called the get answers. So the get answers function give us that second API call and it's throwing not only the paragraph from the original PDF that you scraped, but also the question. So it's throwing those two things into OpenAI when it's making that API call and then when it's asking it to produce an answer, make sure to produce an answer not completely from randomness, but from the context, which is from this PDF document, right? From the question, so that you have the instruction, you know what to do. So those things are extremely important in designing this pipeline. So there you go, that's the second API call. After that, voila, you're done. You have your CSV spreadsheet, you're ready to go. So let me show you guys what a spreadsheet looks like. This is what a spreadsheet looks like. Right off the bat, we have three columns. Very simple, only three columns. The first column is called context. So this column B is created based on the paragraph scraped directly from that PDF document. And then we have the second column, column C. That is the first API call. It gives us the question. So that we know if there is a question, we can compare where is that thing coming from. Is it coming from the PDF or is it not, right? If it is, where exactly in the PDF that is coming from? We ought to have some sort of similarity score to help us, to guide us, to know where that question is coming from. And chatbot needs to know that so that it can grab the correct answer. So what is the answer here? Answer is in column D. This is from the second API call. The second API call, look at column B, look at column C, and then it creates that answer. And guess what? This answer is able to cover both the information from whatever chatbot, whatever large language model that you're using before, the previous domain, or the prior knowledge, right? And also is able to cover whatever new information is in that current data set. So it's covered the new information. So you have the posterior. That is really the value here, why you want to create this question answer pair. And that is how this pipeline can be successful and why when user asks a question, you know where to look at, right? User may or may not know that. That's the front end. But in the back end, if user asks a question, we can save that question in the log. And we are going to log, we can see, oh yeah, this question is entered by this user. And we're able to know that this question matches to this particular row of questions in that corpus, in that database. And this is a similarity score. And perhaps 90%. Then we have a reference. We have a source. That's where the answer coming from. If the answer that the AI produced is a bad answer, it doesn't really make sense. We also have a way of tracking it. So this is where the value of this Excel spreadsheet is coming from. And now you guys get the drill, right? We have Excel spreadsheet. The rest of work is done. It's the exact same algorithm as before. Uh, we've done episodes like this before. Uh, when user asks a question, we're going to compare, oh, which question in this column C that matches and has a high similarity score. If it has a high similarity score, let's grab that answer, right? We know that's the row, row three, row four, row five, whatever. Let's go grab the answer, tell the chatbot, this probably is a good reference answer. Use that as a reference, answer the question. That is how the system is designed. Now, let me show you guys the actual product. So this is the front end of this chatbot. It's the same interface that I have been talking about in my previous video. Down here, we have a drop down button called choose a domain. So you click on that, there are different options for you to choose. I've talked about some of these in my previous episode. Uh, in this particular episode, we're going to be talking about this new domain called adopting AI responsibly. So click on that, that points the algorithm to that right Excel spreadsheet that we just scraped and created. And now we can ask a question. To make this a little bit more realistic, I'm going to ask a question from that Excel spreadsheet. And then we can kind of compare and contrast the prediction to see that if this AI is giving us the answer that's from that PDF document. So let's check it out. For example, I can go to the Excel spreadsheet on the right hand side. And perhaps I can grab this function. And I say, hey, look, that might be an interesting question. What is the global AI market estimated to be worth in 2022? Okay, so let's copy that, let's throw that in the chatbot, and let's hit send. And then let's see what it does. And voila, here we go. On the left-hand side, the chatbot says the global AI market is estimated to be worth $136 billion in 2022. 
Now, we know that's the question that's over there in row 4, so why don't we look at the answer? The answer is also row 4 in the next column. So let's go into the next column, let's get in there, and let's check out the answer. The global AI market is estimated to be worth $136 billion in 2022. So it's very similar to the answer from what the AI is providing us, and in this particular case, it's exactly the same. So now you guys get the idea, right? The real value here is information retrieval. And instead of reading it, instead of a click base, a reading base information retrieval, now the trend is conversation based, right? That's the trend, that's the value. That's where the efficiency comes in. We don't want a user to read a 30 page document, a 50 page document, a 100 page document, word by word, paragraph by paragraph. What are you trying to do here? You're trying to wait for the grass to grow? No. What we're trying to do here is we're trying to introduce a new information retrieval platform, specifically built by chatbot, built by large language model, such as GPT, such as Google's Palm, right? These are amazing models out there with hundreds of billions of parameters. They are well trained, right? They have their prior knowledge that's trained from weeks, months of fine tuning the model. Now let's use that. Let's build a chatbot around it using proprietary data, right? That's where the value comes in. That's where the efficiency comes in. So with that being said, hope you like this episode. If you like it, give a like and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.